I told you, we are Midwest Music since 1974 Radio. Hey, yo, are you tired of spending high prices just to have on the same outfit as everyone else? Well, check out the Original Lifestyle Studios. The Original Lifestyle Studio has men and women fashions, hats, shoes, custom clothing, and specialty items from local vendors. Mention that you heard this ad on Since 1974 Radio and received 10% off your purchase. The Original Lifestyle Studio, open Tuesday through Saturday from 2 to 8 p.m. Located at 426 Broadway Avenue, Lorain, Ohio. 440-654-2758. That's 440-654-2758. Or visit wearelorain.com. What up, Ty, man? Joe, you see this, man? Hey, we do this one time for the old school era, man. Since 1974 Radio. Welcome to the Midwest Independent Show. Hip-hop and R&B for everywhere you go. Every Tuesday from 8.15 to 10. Catch I and the DJ show with Dez. Ready for the weekend. Friday next from 10 to midnight. You got the goal line set. Now Monday through Friday, dead at noon. Catch my homie Ty House, Howard in the moon. Saturday, my favorite. Got the OG show. From 6 to 7, got you saying, oh God, no. Lorraine, the fly city, back at it for show. From the trap, r and and even rhythm and soul. This that since when? 1974. In case you had no clue, well, now you know. From that 440 to the 810 was all possible. Cause a Thai house, let's go. Hey. Hey. So, how you doing? You're listening to Since 1974radio.com. And this is, yeah, the Midwest's best independent hip-hop and uh, R&B. Yo, yo. Check, 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 check. Welcome to another week's edition of the I Am The DJ Show www.since1974radio.com is under construction. No, nah, no. Nah. Into that dirty motherfucker. Excuse my language. Man. The hackers. We got scoundrel. We got we got bad news. Uh everybody. The website was hacked this past week, so uh currently down you can still stream live and watch us post the videos up on youtube but we'll be back in action in a couple of days for sure definitely this is like popping yeah yeah you we'll know what i'm saying happen. like like you say uh every downfall is a uh what they say yeah every setback is a, a set up for a comeback for a comeback yeah you know that's what we're gonna roll with definitely it works for us we gonna make it happen. Uh, tonight we got a uh, Grizz supposed to be coming through. Jay Swin supposed to be coming through. Uh, they got a couple things they gonna talk about. Some new projects, new songs, events. Them two brothers is working. Right. I respect that. So I had to get them on. Um, we also got an exclusive. Not tonight. But an exclusive interview coming for you very soon with uh, Lorraine's own, the Hispanic Hurricane Wilkins Santiago. I'm very excited about that, man. And uh, shout out to the homeboy David Tower for hooking that up. Uh, I'm gonna get him on soon too. A lot cats is cat David Tower, man. He he talks a lot of shit, man. Okay. And. When you're in the profession that he is in, which is professional wrestling, mm-hmm. that's a very good attribute that's to what have. You, that's what you got to do. Because uh, that's really what separates the greats from, you know, the big dudes that's just out there. Right. <clears throat> the all, all your favorite guys had something memorable to say at one point or another. You got a few exceptions, but for the most part, you know, your Rocks, your Stone Colds, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair... They were all shit. They could do some things with the, with the microphone. Right. So, uh, uh, before you get too deep, okay, into what you got going on? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you know, uh, cause you don't stop through on Friday nights. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go. My man, the Campedo Clippers. You What's know. going on with the, the shout out? Shout out, man, because <laughs> you know I I call I called him out before we even started playing. Is right after the draft I called him out. Then he handled you in week one. Yep. I'm still talking uh, trash going into to week two, and, and uh, I took a a beating, man. Shout out to to Travis Benjamin. That makes it a little bit sweeter, though, man. When uh when you have to take that L because of a Brown. Yeah, yeah. Give me give me a second. Can you handle this one? I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, this here since 1974radio.com. You are listening to the I Am The DJ Show. DJ had to run out and take a break and uh, kind of caught me off guard. But uh, you know your mans will play some music for you, so let's do that. It's the homeboy Grizzly with Postman featuring Lord Grands here on Since 194 Radio. Oh, yes, wait a minute, oh, not uh, Lord Grands. Let's go. Let's get right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Now join live by the homie Jay Swin. How you doing, my brother? I'm all right, man. Let's make sure we got your your levels right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Go ahead. Put it up there closer to you. And uh, let's make sure we get. I did. I did have that. I had some feedback from a viewer. And uh, she was she was telling me that uh, she couldn't hear what what the homie was saying. So we're gonna make sure we got your your volume correct. Let's do it. I see you got the the shirt on and every that's how you come right with the promotion. You got a new single out. You got to be representing. So tell us about the new single. Well, the new single is coming out the lead album, man. Uh, I think we're gonna tie up a closer person. You know what I'm saying? We've been around for a while. And it's that time, you know what I'm saying? It's just that time to make that good, real life music, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. About everything that's going on, everything around, everything sure. real. So you saying like that's like your whole project that you're working on? Yeah, it's gonna be an actual full album, not a mixtape. Get away from the mixtape for a little while. Okay, okay. I'm get I away feel from that. Mixtape scene for a minute. Is uh, is this song a part of that project though? Yeah, we're gonna call that the lead off single right now. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Who uh, who produced that track? Screech De Niro. Screech De Niro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Re- In the building. Hey, but check this out. You know what I'm saying? Screech, uh, I got to take my hat off to him because, you know, that brother talented. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not only the engineer, you know what I'm saying, the man behind the cypher sound, but 
He the producer too. Definitely. You know, um, but at the same time, he just don't have the time. You know what I mean? It's only one of him. Right. So he really ain't just put it out there like that, that he, he doing the tracks and everything. But okay, give, I, gotta, feel gotta, I feel it. Got to give him the credit where it's due. Yeah. Though, you know what I'm saying? Got to give him the credit. Yeah, Real man. Talk. You know what I'm saying? You know, so all day long. You know what's really going on behind, you know? Mm-hmm. That's the thing about with, uh, you know, that whole industry thing that just happened with uh, Drake and, and Meek Mill and all that sh- You know, but music is a, is a team sport. You know what I mean? And uh, it's been like that since the beginning. What you mean by team? Like as far as putting together songs, you oh, know okay. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, now it's, sure. it's one thing when you when you when you are MC and you come in like this is my 16 or, oh, yeah, or whether yeah. this is a, a a actual battle rap or something like that. You know, definitely. But Ghost Riders is a part of of making songs, and uh, and it's not even so much about ghostwriting or reference tracks it's just music is putting together a track from the beginning to the end it's a team sport you know, you know what's crazy when you talk about ghostwriters man Timberland write a lot of hooks for a lot of tracks that he said oh, yeah. people don't ever say nothing about that you know what I'm saying uh, that whole that whole beef between Meek and Drake is like way weak not only because Meek ain't really come like he should have but what's the really fueling point like what, what was you trying to gain right I mean you, your album was hot or mixtape or whatever you wanted it to be you stepped your game up you was buzzing and then you just killed it like yeah which you know I'm still a fan of Meek don't get me wrong you know yeah I still respect his music but I don't know what he was thinking or what his team was letting him you do you know I think I think everybody um, that was a fan of him before that is still a fan of him yeah. and he might have even gained some new fans um, and or definitely people that never heard of him before know who he is now or at least know that he exists because drake has a way bigger fan base than than meek mill you know what i'm saying drake is like my my uh my mom and my aunt and stuff you know what i'm saying they know who drake is you know what i'm saying he's 40 50 year old women see drake trying to get paid oh yeah see meek meek come from the streets and he's trying to satisfy people and he's trying to keep it real and all that stuff which is official but when you get in the game it's about money definitely i mean don't get me wrong you know what i'm saying it's about sticking to your roots and, and doing what you do as an artist. But you had a lot of miles to feed, and you just become another number. You know, once you sign that deal, man, it's business. It's not really about you too much no more. Right. It's about you as a brand. It's And it's a machine, People you know. People don't understand that. No, nah, it is. It is. Um, what do you think about, because I know you've been in the, the game for a while, you know what I'm saying? You done seen also Screech, too. Um, things change over the years, and now with the with the Internet, you know, it's like a whole new era of yeah. of exposure, and uh, ev- you, everybody's got a, a shot now. You know what I mean? Well, do you, Do you think so, or do you still think that that there's uh, barriers? Man, I think that everybody should do what they're good at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, everybody really don't got a shot for real. Everybody taking a shot. Right. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference between being Kobe and then just being somebody taking a shot. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I respect anybody trying to grind, anybody trying to put something together and do what they do. But, I mean, at some point, if you got it, you got it. And if you don't, somebody somebody around you, before it even gets to this point, should let you know, like, maybe maybe you should try something else. Right. But don't you, like, we are in, a, in, a, in the YouTube era yeah. where you got your, your, your silentos. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you got these cats that can just come out of nowhere off of a vine or off of a... And that's that's what I mean. So, like you saying, yeah, you only got so many Kobe's and LeBron's, you know, yeah. but you still got your Della Vadova's in the rap game, too. That's going... But just got, because of the, the But you got your Soldier Boys behind that, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was a quadrillion-dollar artist, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's a lot... See, but at the same time, you got to respect him, too, because he's keeping himself alive. Through, Absolutely. You it's, see what I'm it's saying? It's been so, almost 10 years, and, you know, he's still I, I he's still his, out here. You know I what I mean? respect it, yeah. yeah. And he produced. A lot yeah. of people ain't hip to that either. He produced a lot of a lot of mm-hmm. records. Because he, he made that uh, that beat. Well, that one, yeah. he do, that, he, that original but one, see, he's still sure. he's still, like, part of that young movement. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, that young, that young, young movement, that dancey. And, that's, and if that's what it is, making money for him, man, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? When it come down, when it come down to, to to respecting somebody's hustle, I don't knock that at all. When it yeah, come down never. to preference, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole different story. So, what would you describe like your musical style as? Man, I'm off into the to the to the '90s for real. You know what I'm saying? Only because that's what it like. That's the pop. That's where the lyricists were at. You know what I mean? That's where 
cats had to, had to make a track hot, not not rely on a hot track. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's where the grind was real. That's where you know you got in the streets, hand to hand promotion. That's where you know DJs help break artists. Like it just seemed like that's where the whole culture was really thriving. You know what I mean? At its best. And it, but but as it was producing artists and producing hot music, it was because everybody was a part. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that was important. It wasn't just. You know what I'm saying? Somebody waking up, writing something like the little Slim Jesus dude or whoever he yeah. is. You know yeah, what I mean? And which I, I'm not knocking <laughs> him either because he made it happen for himself, however. Yeah, that, but at the same way, he just, you feel me? Come on. And that's, and that's, you know what I'm I, saying? I mean, it's that, like, that's really a better example for, you yeah. know, kind of what I'm saying is just like, there, and there's different ways to go about it. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, somebody like you, you know, you is doing this because you love the music, yeah, you know, and you in this for the long run, you know, regardless of what happens, you're going to be making that music. You know, at the end of the day, man, a lot of people don't, don't realize that's what it's all about. I mean, you can't really make music until you love and enjoy music. If you can't, if you ain't comfortable with yourself and you ain't been through nothing and you know what I'm saying, you ain't just at a place where you can record comfortably mm-hmm. and not, not forcing yourself to, to, to write some lyrics and try to remember something and try to do something that's hot. It ain't going to be hot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about what what you gravitate to. You start rocking with artists because of what you feel. You know what I mean? When somebody spits something or a track or a hook or something, it's something that you feel, something that you can relate to. It ain't something that, you know what I mean, you just heard and and it just caught you. It was something that you could relate to. He made you feel him or she made you feel her. Like, that's what it's about for real. You know what I mean? It's it's just like, I don't know, it's just too much. It's just too much. I don't know. It's just too much. Bullshit for real. You know <laughs> I'll try to find another word for it, but yeah. it's just so watered down, man. It's but it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I can only respect people getting money. You know what I'm saying? I'll never knock that. Who are who are you a, a are you a fan of any of these contemporary rappers that are out now? As far as mainstream, yeah. Man, as far as personal, like like their music or the respect they hustle. The like, music, the music. Not really. No? Nah. I mean, you know, because, I mean, they really ain't saying nothing. I mean, the, right. the, if you look at the, like, the whip and the nene, bro, all they do is brought back all the old. Yeah, he's just named dancers. That ain't. Which that is cool. Is, yeah. I mean, I'm okay. You know, so the young cats, that's got something to do. But that's what's up. But at the same time, that's not, what, how much talent is that for real? Right. I mean, I didn't really take Let's no see time. What the, you know what, what the follow up is like? Is there is there a follow up? That's you like know, an Apollo a career out of that. Yeah, that's a series. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A couple hot acts for the. But it's element. it's crazy because we sitting here and we we talking about all these different levels to the shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once again, we can't knock nobody hustles. Slim mm-hmm. Slim Jesus. He probably came up in the last week. You know what I'm saying? He he he. They flew him out. To Cali to do a show with Chief Keith. You know what I'm saying? So when you're looking you at it from a business perspective, you know what I'm saying? You gotta respect that. But that's what you blame too. You look at the people like Puff. Puff really ain't caring about us anyway. And when I say us, I'm talking about the whole indie scene. Mm-hmm. All he care about is making the next dollar. You know what I mean? And that's not a, a diss or nothing like that. But that's why I said in the beginning, you know what I mean? It's all about bread. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Because he, he talking about he got a million dollars for that dude. For real? You just throwing away money like that, and but but you passing up hot artists. I mean, and I'm not talking about just around us. I mean, this yeah. worldwide. Like he because it's a everybody. it's a it's a business perspective, right. just like we sitting here saying it. But at the same like, time, he's in a position to, to to create the perspective. You see what I'm saying? He don't mm-hmm. have to go with the flow. Definitely. Diddy can change the game. You hear what I'm saying? Definitely. I mean, so so that, that I don't know, man. Like I said. It is what it is. That's why I do what I do, man. And 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 I enjoy. I mean, if I sold ten thousand units at two dollars a piece, I'm happy. Right. You know, I'm not content, but I'm happy. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I mean? Just because that's, that's ten thousand people that's rocking with me, off of something that I created, and it, and it's going. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just all you can do nowadays, man. Because it's, it's shitty. You know what I mean? Everybody thinking that you're gonna make a hot CD, have to throw a cover on it, and get a deal. That's that's dead. That ain't mm-hmm. happening no more. No. You know what I mean? That's not happening no more. No, nah, these dudes me? ain't even uh, like the even the biggest cats aren't really selling any records. Nah, and, know, but people don't see that. Everybody's striving to get a deal, but the deals ain't really where it's at. Yeah. You just got to make noise. The digital game is where it's at. For yeah, real. I'm think I I think that a lot of uh, the younger cats like like the the Slim Jesus kid. You know, like mm-hmm. they they are understanding it you, because you got to have a video, you know, and your shit got to be clean. And, you know, and if it's a, a catchy beat or something gimmicky to it, something funny about it, it's and it him. can catch on <laughs> and it can get viral, you know, that's money. Because yeah. cause people, we, we was talking about this from females last week. Yeah. Females give away shit. They're 
taking pictures mm -hmm. of themselves, titties and ass and everything, and they're not making, they're not modeling, they're not going to host no parties, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't got to be just like a straight up, you know, uh, prostitution type thing, but there's right. other ways to profit off of it, like, especially if you already just taking pictures of it and giving it away for free. See, that's the part of the game that I think that everybody's missing. You know what I mean? Everybody's so quick to trying to get to the top. But it's like, at the same time, like you said, when you first mentioned the whole team situation, everybody plays a part. If you put together a thorough team, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you might not be the star, but if you got stars around you, you're going to shine. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, and to be honest with you, bro, that's what keeps me around for so long. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these, and I respect it. I mean, because I take the hate with the good. You know what I mean? I, I don't trip. Because at the end of the day, I don't make music for anybody but people that respect my music. I mean... Word. I don't like everybody's music, so I don't expect everybody to like mine. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I just make the best music that I can. You feel me? So I look at the times, I look at what's going on, I look at what I'm feeling, and I put it out. You know, you're going to get good, you're going to get bad. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But 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 see, the thing is, the, the difference is, I still can keep up with the times. Right. Like, I know what's hot, I know what sounds hot, I ain't stupid. I mean, you're not going to catch me with a Kumo D flow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to bring it back in and, and really push it. Like, some cast is on that type of stuff, though. Like, can't ride beats. And, and that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Like, but they messing the game up for, for people like us that, that, that take our crap serious. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I really don't focus on that no more, man. I mean, I put on for my city all the time. Wherever I go, however I, I do it, I do it with polish. But, you know what I mean? The days of... uh trying to lift everybody up and put everybody in situations. I mean, you can only do that so long. You know what I'm saying? I always use, uh, the, I guess the best scenario to, to put it in is, is, is look at the passion of the Christ, man. He carried the cross by himself. Ain't nobody helping. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So if, if that man did that, you know what I mean? He's the higher power. None of us can do that. I mean, you could try as, as much as you want. So I, I've been listening to, I've been watching the show probably for probably said the last three or four weeks like faithfully and mm -hmm. just been keeping up you know what i'm saying and salute to everybody on i respect all the artists that's been on and i rock with a lot of them i don't features and stuff you know but it's just we can't come together until you know what i'm saying and so all bullshit is out the way but that ain't gonna never be you know what i'm saying because when you got this artist or that artist trying to be artist slash manager slash dj slash engineer slash video man you can't do that mm -hmm. you dig what i'm saying like um, like my little nephew, man, Gordy. You know, he's Stanley. That's my family. I know. I'm not yeah. Not. I did you know not. What I'm saying now, he's talented. It's all hell. But like, like when I'm working on my project now, I got him on a couple tracks and you know, producing for me and everything. But like, I'm trying to school him. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a rapper to produce for me. You dig what I'm saying? I need right. a producer to produce for me. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I yeah. want a producer to be at his best when he makes a track for me. Yeah. I don't want a rapper thinking, like, I can spit to this and kill it. I mean, that's cool. We'll get to that, too. That's fine. But I'm looking for that. And, and if I can do that and build the pieces that they're supposed to be, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out Yeah, the you got to put it together how you can. You yeah. know, there are some cats who are multi-talented and yeah, who can kind of, oh, you know, hit a couple different areas in there. But when you're putting together your project, you got to have it how you Think want Think about it. it, bro. Outside of people's like the Kanye's and the, and the industry that, that actually have the money to be able to separate the sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, you know, their stuff, they're just like us. They create only differences when they send it off to the million-dollar mastering facilities and stuff like that. That's when... Everything is, you know, differentiated. But, you know what I mean? When you're dealing with somebody that's doing everything, it sounds the same. I mean, I've been there, you know what I mean, where I've had somebody producing for me, featuring with me, and he's doing everything. And it's like, man, this is just all the same shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it might be hot for a minute, but four tracks down the line, it's the same shit. Right. Using the same snare, using the same drum. I mean, it's the same shit. It's not going to help neither one of us. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in order to get out there and do something, you got to, Start separating, man. Reach yeah, out to people. Your sound. I mean, I, I could throw an auto tune on and probably harmonize something. But before, go get a singer. That's what singers do. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why when we put this jigging together, I went out, got gutted, man. Right. We nailed that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's a he's a he's sing or man. You know, listen. Or get the flow on him going. too, man. Definitely. Sleep on him. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll murder some shit, man. So, I'm curious as to how you got started, man. You know, it's funny. How I got started, actually, it was years ago in school for real talent shows and shit like that. You know what I mean? Always, you know, writing. You know, writing is, 
anytime you know you, you got a creative mind, you're gonna write it down. Whether it be in a form of poetry, whether it be a rap, whether it just be, you know, like back drawing. then, it, yeah, it was yeah. something. You know what I mean? Just jotting words down, not not necessarily doing much with it, or just you know spitting it for your friends, freestyling in the car, sessions type shit, whatever. But you know what I mean? Talent shows and stuff, man. Once that start going and start popping a little bit, it's like, all right, you might have something. You know, it wasn't really nothing. It wasn't paying. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing. You know. But then you start taking it a little more serious. Next thing you know, you got a project out. Now you make a couple dollars off of it. Now you buzzing. And then it, it just took me from there. And it's to the point where there's been many a times where I, I wanted to fall back and do something different. Maybe manage a little bit or maybe, you know, get behind the scenes and do some other things. Push some of the, you know, younger artists coming up. But, you know what I mean, I have a fan base. You know what I mean? And, and as long as I can do it, I'm going to continue to. And keep doing it. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like I said, I've had success with it, though. It, and it's not... It's not just me. I'm not just sitting here saying I'm, I feel like I'm hot and I'm doing it. Like I got numbers to you know stick behind me, and you know my product speaks for itself. Like, but but we work hard though. I mean, you know if you if you follow any of my projects, man. When I first met Tamikas, man, way back in Damn. the day, Damn, he killed me over here with the man. man. <laughs> Go back. When I first met when I first met T Money, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, <laughs> but we it was it, we was on the grind, and, that, and that's just how it's always been, man. Mm-hmm. And it's just been received, though. I mean, you know, like I said, if it was to the point where I put something out that ain't it just ain't nobody fucking with it, then I was just telling me what time it is, and I can only respect it. So you you think there will come a time well where you'll put the pen I, down? I'm not gonna say I think that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody with a, a drive in them, you know what I'm saying, is gonna think that. But if that was happening, I'm not a fool. Right, got you, got you. I'm not going to force something down your throat. Yeah, yeah, bet. no, I keep throwing shit out. People throwing it back, you know what I'm saying? So, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to fuck with it like that. What's your uh, favorite part about being in the game? Man, I, I, to be truthful, I think it's the creativity and, and the growth. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, like, even to myself, you know what I mean? I, like, I think I'm, I'm hard on myself. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can ask anybody around me. I probably real hard on myself for real, you know what I'm saying? And it's like when I can sit back and listen to stuff that I've done two, three, four years ago and then and reflect on now, I can see the growth. You know what I mean? And that's the biggest thing is to really set goals and then reach them. You know what I'm saying? Like um for an example to throw a single out like this, you know what I'm saying? We uh we do stuff we do all kind of stuff to challenge, you know what I mean? Like I I created a new reverb nation page for an example. I mean that mug is jumping for me, you know what I'm saying? It's four days old. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's just going crazy. You know what I mean? We're, man, something that we talk about on here a lot is uh, artists from Lorraine getting love outside of Lorraine more than man. in Lorraine. Is that something that you... S- I'll be honest with you, man. To be all the way real, yeah. it's probably only about five artists for real that really get love outside of Lorraine. I'm not going to put names because I, I, I can't guarantee that, but I'm just saying total. Right. I mean, because I've seen a lot of artists outside of Lorraine, and I won't put nobody out like that either because I ain't really trying to belittle nobody. I'm trying to uplift everybody, but they can't survive. That's where the problems come from in Lorraine, and that's why when you sit down and people say stuff like, you know what I mean, we need to come together, that's the part of the problem where the coming together don't work. You know what I mean? Like, for an example, I'm willing to work with anybody. I've proven that year after year, day after day. I've done songs with people that have no business touching mics, pencils, pens. <laughs> but then at the same time, I don't work with some talent that should have been signed probably, you know, before I was, you know, ever rapping. Bet. So, but at the same time, it was just on the strength of trying to trying to help. You know what I'm saying? But when you get outside of here and you don't have that ten people that that rock with you every day, regardless of how corny it is, and and, and they ain't gonna keep it real with you, and they and they, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that, and I'm talking about some of the top tier here get just straight shitted on. You know what I mean? 30 miles east, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Or, or west, either way. And I've seen that. And that's why a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, people call me a hater or, or, or get a little salty because I turn people on to a lot of stuff, bro. You know what I mean? Whether they ever would admit it to you or not, a lot of stuff. Anything that I've got, you can get because I'm not I'm not unsure of myself. Like, I'm not worried about me. You can have this plug and see what you can do with it, too. Mm-hmm. I'm good. You feel what I'm saying? Even though I know you're coming in trying to backdoor, even though I know your mentality coming in, but I, but what I'm really doing is letting you see what it's really like out here. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been out here, bro. I've been in and out of the country before on this shit. Like, I done done more than a lot of cats that ever do. And that's not being arrogant. That's just being 100. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I would hope 
and, and enjoy our whole city being able to say, you know what, I'm headed over to Europe next month. I'm going to, you know, Canada in, in two weeks. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I would like to see that. You know, I like to see cats want to get together and get their stage shows put together or have some sort of presence about them. Like, but cats don't really care about that. They just see rapping is hot. Let me jump on the mic, make me a quick catchy song and get paid. You feel me? Yeah. Where have you ever heard of niggas that you never heard of charging for features? <laughs> Fuck. Who <laughs> like, man. I've had, yeah. I've had niggas yeah. hit me up, bro, real talk. I swear on mama, man, from, from this city that I've never heard of ever in my life. Ever. Ever heard of. And was like, man, you hot. I want to fuck with you. But I charge $30. A, first of all, what is $30? Right. That, <laughs> you did what I'm saying? Is that all you care about yourself is 30 bucks? Right. But then Just second of all, who something. are you? Like, you're, you're charging? <laughs> are you kidding? Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh some uh, some cats is like that, man. I've heard I've heard up to like I've heard some ridiculous numbers man, for some listen, of these. I, oh, I've heard some here, ridiculous man. numbers too. Yeah, I, but but you know <laughs> you know it's crazy. The same thing. But see, and at the same time, it's like now I, you know, like for an example, TKO. Uh huh. Um, regardless if you like him or not, because he's like one of those specific acquired tastes. You know, you got to listen to him. You got to like mm-hmm. his style. But his grind is retarded. Right. So at the end of the day, if he's trying to charge you, you have to respect it because mm-hmm. he done he done did almost anything you can do as a local, right, right, or, or regional, you know, or semi national, whatever you consider yourself. You know what I'm saying? But it's like at the end of the day, bro. It's like if you've never left Lorraine, if your biggest show has been at like Gills before, it was not Gills <laughs> right. anymore. How the hell can you charge anybody? Right. Yeah, you know what okay. I'm saying? I mean, I don't get it. It's, as, that's not gonna fly. It's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not. And that's why I respect Screech another, again because, you know, he's another one, man. I mean, nothing but love, bro. It, 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 it's like he, he helped. He, it, man, bro, like I said, when I leaked up with Screech, he was on the same shit I was on. He helped push a lot of people, man, and he don't get he don't get credit for it, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't get a lot of credit for, for what he do. He, he constantly promoting people, constantly putting people on the stuff. Constantly shopping people's shit, they don't even know it, yeah, bro. Backbone to this industry. You know what I'm you know saying? What I'm saying? It's, it's and, and like, like you, sir. Yeah. They hold us all up. Salute to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Turning people on the shit they ain't even. And I mean, to. and I think that that's that's something that I try to do. I know that's something that that Ty tries to do is uh, helping promote people, man, and, and helping put people on the stuff and, and share and spread the love and and cats like CD Dre. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a dude. That feel the same way that you feel. Like he'll give you the game. Like he here, take it, do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm still gonna get mine. Mm-hmm. And I'm not worried about that. You know, so cats that feel like that, I think at least everybody can't get together, but at least the cats that have that type of mentality, they need to we all need to to at least have some type of common understanding. And I mean this right here is like a, a getting together, you know what I'm saying? But you know, First of all, definitely shout out to Dre. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because he always there in the clutch for everybody. Everybody. And again, he probably don't get enough, you know what I'm saying, credit for what he do too. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like you said, at the end of the day, man, it's just hard to get a lot of people together. I mean, yeah. people people feel like they can do it by themselves, which you, you may be able to. Ain't nobody taking that away from you. But look at No Limit. Look at Cash Money. I mean, Master P was putting albums out every two weeks and, and dummies was buying them. Yeah. And it wasn't hot. It's just because it was, and if somebody put that, when you put that type of work ethic into something and it's, it's genuine, you know what I mean? That's what's like, up. You had to respect it. Yeah. It's like this nigga dropping every some two weeks. Gonna come I'm from going it, to man. get it. I got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I mean, like I said, man, it, it's, it's all good, man. He's up front. Mm-hmm. Can you go get him? Okay. Um. Man, I blew my damn... Uh, Train of thought, but uh, what, what was we just saying? What was we were talking about uh, we were talking about Dre, you know what I'm saying? Doing oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about uh, yeah. Master P dropping his projects every two weeks. Yeah, and Cash just, just the, putting just that, group that work in. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and but nothing, nothing's possible, man, on a on a major level. You know, without having a team. Um, I know even my my homeboy uh, Javon Terrence. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to him. He uh he was just on Channel Three tonight. They. You know when I when I had heard about, it, I thought they had like came out here and shot something with him, but you know he went down there into the studio and they sat down with him and let him show off his designs and stuff like that. And I I know from uh, being a part of of his team, 
and uh, seeing how his his whole operation works, you know, it's like a it's it's never a one man operation. No. You know, you might see a, a guy out front. You know what I mean? Whether it's a, a clothing designer or whether it's a, a, a musical artist or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's a team behind it. You know what else too, man? It, it, not only is it a team behind it, but but you gotta the team's gotta see the dream. Like the like the front man. That's what mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it, the front man. Right. You know, a lot of people don't realize either, man. The rapper don't get paid the most. No. Nah. The rapper ain't eating the most. He's just the front. He's the face of the situation. Yeah. You gotta. You know what I'm you saying? You gotta pay. Gotta pay for to make yeah. it happen. You but but I mean? like you said, I mean, the whole there's the concept of team is gone, man. I mean, you just look around. Yeah. There's no team in nothing. I mean, everybody just throwing dirt on everybody. Nah. And then and it's 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 because it's a lot of mistrust. Yeah, you know, and um, it's a lot of a greed, and you know, it it, it is a, a dog eat dog type of world, and people get fucked over, and it makes them be like, you know what, that's never gonna happen to me again, you know. My my question is, how can it be like that when there's nothing? You know what I mean? It's like, what is there to dog over? We're we're in a small city, we're not even in the biggest city or the most popular mm -hmm. city in our state. Mm -hmm. We're not known for much more than a steel mill. We don't get no type of talent recognition at all here, but yet we going crazy like we're in New York City. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's what's crazy. It's just, it's we are. This is I talk about this a, a lot with people, um, because while we're not the biggest, we're not even close to being the smallest. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So you get this weird combination of like this big city mentality mm -hmm. where people are tuning into mainstream stuff and. They following these trends and they thinking everything is on this level, you know, but they're really in this smaller, confined space. Imagine this, man. We got South Lorraine. South Lorraine is like a city within a city, mm -hmm. okay? Imagine if we got together and promoted that concept to help uplift our movement. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's strength in numbers, no but matter what That's what, what I'm saying. You... Nobody even thinking about nothing like that. No. I mean, it's all about I'm not rocking with him, F him. You know what I'm saying, or or he think y'all that, or she too good, or I know, man. you know what I'm saying. But and that's what's crazy. And I'm here, man. You know, I I think that uh, I'm a very optimistic person. People will always tell me that. I mean, I, I had I had met this uh, this this female, and she she just thought like, are you always so like? Why are you always there? I'm just like, man, I'm just like that because I didn't. You know, I I I haven't had a bad life. You know what I mean? I choose right. to look at things. Like they're gonna work out, and then they t they tend to work out. So that's how I approach everything. You know what I mean? So I'll I, I just I will never give up on trying to find people with common mindsets. You know that want to try to make a change. You and know, you know how serious it is, and not to cut you off, man. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always promoting. I'm always looking around into stuff. I'm always you know what I'm saying. Just 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 grinding some stuff, filling stuff out. Like you know how many shows like this will charge you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about that ain't even known. And and we this is what we was talking about. You know, I was talking to my boy about uh, having an album release party. He was, he was telling me when to have the album release party. And he's talking and I'm like, no, you you cannot ask people to pay to come to your album release party. And you, you, they don't even, you know what I mean? Like, Bruh. like you look silly when you do that. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. You look silly when you do that. Man, listen, man. It's not, I, I done, <laughs> listen, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, we could go down that road for days and days and days <laughs> because, I, I mean, but, you know, when you say something, people think you hating. At the end of the day, my thing is, like, I done been through it all. But, but the good thing is, like I said, I started when it was more manual. You know what I mean? Gotcha. When it was hand to hand, when gotcha. it was, you know what I mean? When, when when somebody was in town, you was there. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? When 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 a project dropped, like I said, you, you constantly everywhere, you know, pushing that product, showing your face. You know what I mean? Not sitting behind the keyboard. You know what I mean? The keyboard makes it makes it a reach. I yeah. guess you can expand further that way, which is cool. But but at the same time, the grind ain't there no more. You right. Know what that's that? what the uh, hunger ain't there no that's more. That's what Maserati like, Bobby was saying last week. Yeah, he was saying, like, fuck, fuck the internet right now, you know. Yeah. And that's that's really how you, because it is that, 
that viral aspect to it, but you not that's not long term. That's no. not gonna build you no no fan base. People ain't really rocking with you. But when you put that that CD in their hand, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and you giving them that face to face, and you like, yeah. hey, listen to this. You know what I'm saying, bro? You got a fan, man. Like I said, bro, I respect everybody that does it, man. I mean, and that's real. You know what I mean? Cause like like I said, a lot of especially a lot of the names that I've heard mentioned on the show the last few weeks, all got tremendous talent. And, and and I would I would I mean even if I was a performer I would love to watch that type of show right you know what I mean but we don't even have that type of atmosphere that we can even put something like that together right I we, mean we build we, we, we got a Jay News and we got a Tay Baby mm-hmm. you know what I mean that could be epic putting together a, a show with with, with 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 the heavy hitters from our area mm-hmm. come on man you know what I mean and then we got a show like this this right here should be gravitating people from all over the country that should right. be wanting to come here. You right. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Lorraine should be that spot to, that, you know what I mean? I'll tell you something crazy, man. People got to pay attention to what's going on. Read the paper sometime. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people who aren't from here who are buying up properties oh, yeah, around here because it's about to flip. Like, this Broadway down here, this this whole area is about to pop more. You've seen this past summer, they brought they brought Rover Fest back again. They got the Rocking on the that's River stuff. That's another thing, bro. That's another thing that's crazy. This dude came here, established his mark, got a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, no disrespect to no type of fan base, but a bunch of white folks kicking it. Yes. And got every brother in the city wanting to go spend $50 on the ticket yes. just to be around somebody drinking. Just to be around all you the other people. Saying? But you but you don't want to go support nobody that's doing something, which, I mean, at the end of the day, it's each his own. That's what's up. Right. But all I'm saying is that's the problem. Yes, yeah, it's not, a, not it's the a fact mentality. that you can't get together. It's like you spend forty dollars to go to Roper Fest. Yeah, to do what? Get drunk all day? You can't leave when you go inside. No, you can't leave and come back. You did what I'm saying. You shoulder you to shoulder stuck. damn near yeah. all day long. It, it, bro, I. Uh, you go to strip club to see ass and titties. You I see went. What I'm saying? I went because I felt like I had to go because my shop is right across the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna pass out some cards. And I'm gonna just experience it. No, it's so all I can, love, though. I'm so not, I can I'm know not what it's like. It. But no, but what I'm what I'm saying is, I stayed there for maybe 40 minutes, and I, I was gone because, because I they, was like, this is whack. Like, they, <laughs> yeah, like, you ain't want to stand there all day long. Yeah. Just, it's yeah. like it's like, uh, you know, five, six, seven dollars for a little cup of beer, yeah. and uh, you know, the food is high price, long ass lines. Mm-hmm. It's like I. Which, now we around that time period, we had a, a conversation about putting something together that was like a hip hop version of Rover Fest, but all of the obstacles that we would encounter doing it. Oh, absolutely. Um, but but I think that it's just it's it's a matter of putting the plan together and putting the bread together. Yeah. Because after they've done the Rover Fest there and all the shit that goes on down there, they re- it's not like they can say, no, you can't do this type of music down there. They can't right. say that. Like they can't say that. So it's just a matter of uh, putting that bread down. It's all a matter of public record, you know, how much they paid to get that mm-hmm. in the, the contract situation. So I'd like to see that happen. I, I'd like to be a part of it. You know, I got my, my hands in a bunch of different things right now. I ain't necessarily got the, the bread myself, but I'm definitely trying to help put some people together yeah, and yeah, organize absolutely. that because there ain't no reason that if if, if people will pay, you know, 50 Whatever, however much it is to go down there and do that, um, they didn't go down there to see motherfucking Flo Rida That's or nobody saying. that was on that stage. They point, went down bro. there to be where all the people was. And, and that's what that's that's exactly what I'm saying. That, that that's all I'm saying on the point of you know the excuses always people can't come together. It's not necessarily about that. It's just like people can't own up and stand on their own too. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like. If I'm sitting around a, a group of artists and I'm not holding my own, I got to respect that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got to respect the fact that I'm not going to be in that main event segment. You know what I mean? I might be an opening act if it's an all-day festival. You know what I'm saying? Or I just got to play my position. Definitely. If that's what I'm trying to do. That's where the problems come. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, how can you, you know, it just goes back to like the old school. How can you judge an apple and a, and a banana? It's two different things. So it's not like, you know, it's not like, uh, you know what I mean? It's not like you can just really compare artists. No, I mean, I unless you got All a live stage show or something, you bring in something to yeah. the table, you know, something above and beyond. But, you know, everybody got a talent, you know what I mean? Yep. And everybody nice in, in the lane that they in. But it's like, okay, 
based off of what we're doing, how can it fit? And how, how can we make it happen? That's where the problems come. Yeah. Like I said, I, my line's always open. It's always been, it always will be. Definitely. You know, because therefore, you, you can't say it. What, what can you say? You, you don't have to like it. I respect it. But it ain't because I done played you. It ain't because I done spent you around a few times. Nah, my line's open. You know where I'm at. If you can't reach me, you know where I record. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the, in, in the state damn near knows my engineer. So it's like, there's no way not to get a hold of me. And, and you know I go hard on anything that I do as far as promotion or anything that I'm doing. Damn. So my, my door is always open, bro. You know what I'm saying? Always much, open. Much, much you know what I'm respect. saying? For anybody, and that goes for anybody out there. Anybody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, anybody. He, he, he telling y'all, fuck, fuck with Swin, y'all. You know whatever whatever he's trying me, to get happy. Hey, real quick, let me plug it. Catch me on Twitter at Team Swin. I was say, give us the yeah. social media. <laughs> Catch me on Instagram, J Swin the Truth. You know, Facebook Swin. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, Google J Swin. How much for a verse? Six hundred and fifty. Hey, it's all day. You know what I'm saying? All I ask for is equal cooperation. You know what I'm saying? If we collab on something, let's push it. Make right. it a go. Let's make, yeah, make it happen. Let's that's make some all good I ask music. For. Yeah, that's and, it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's go with it, man. I yeah. mean. Well, we got the, uh, you going to play the, the yeah, jugging? Yeah, yeah, Go ahead and throw to it. We're going to go to this jugging. Uh, thank you, Swin, for coming and you checking us know. out. For sure. Much love, y'all. Uh, this is the new single, Jugging, featuring King Gutter. Is it King Gutter now? Or is it Gutter? Is it Kid Gutter? Is it Gutter Gutter? King Gutter. King Gutter. King I, I like yeah. I like that. Yeah, he ain't kid no more. He not. He all grown up. He so. not. I like that, you know man. He, he, he cat's sleeping on him, man. Hey, I got to shout out to Gweb, too. Shout out you to know Gweb. I ain't doing a lot right now, man. Shout um, out to Gweb. He, he, on the, he on his grind heavy, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. If you need them tapes, host to get with him. Um, that on tour right now is, is, is what? What is that? Screech 400,000 plus, I think. Downloads. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's on live mixtapes. You can get that there. Um, that's just where we at right now. We're just on the mixtape grind. You know what I mean? The, the jugging is all over the place. Mm-hmm. You can definitely um, catch us on Reverb Nation, though. Uh, that's where I went to plug that. Reverb Nation, J. Swin, um, a.k.a. Swin. Um, like I said, right now, we just going we gonna to rock out until the wheels fall off, man. And, and shout out to everybody doing their thug. Bad. All right, y'all. This is Jugging Swin featuring King Gutter. On the I Am the DJ show since 1974 radio. I told you we are Midwest music since 1974 radio. Hey, I've been to the All hey. oh, my nigga, we was born ready. ready. Hating on the niggas cause we get back. Born to yeah. raise in my city. Put work in till I'm dead and gone. Two rights is right, can't make a wrong. I speak for the hood in every song. Money coming, that money gone. We good at math and the flip strong. Work the pot with the Pyrex. Doubled up cause the whip strong. Big faces, money long. Time to self that's multiplied. Real guys with real lies. Should realize and realize. Want metaphors of them punchlines. Nigga, nigga die slow. Flat, flat, flat line. I'ma get rich or die trying. Stay stacking up yeah. and keep climbing. Yeah. Been jugging and jugging and jugging the fly. My nigga, we get in the quad, but we head straight to the top. Hey. Oh, my nigga, we was born ready. Hating on the niggas, cause we get fatty. Hey, I've been jugging and jugging and jugging the fly. Hating on my team, cause we get in the quad. Money right, so we down south. In the state, we blowing gas on cruise control. Ain't trying to crash. Couple of niggas with a bunch of cash. Dodging lights and cams and dash. Got the best. Now we headed back. Work for hire, we got the pack. Back to the block, it's cotton mouth. Sack it up, let's keep it wet. Four fifth, nine millimeter. 38 double deuce Nina. Tucked under that white beater. Just in case they do wrong. World end like a sad song. Up the smoke like a giant bone. I've been jugging and jugging and jugging the fly. My nigga, we get in the quad, but we head straight to the top. Oh, my nigga, we was born ready. Hating on the niggas, cause we get fatty. Hey, I've been jugging and jugging and jugging the fly.
drama Cause I got so many styles And when it's said and done It's more that comes So stick around and smoke me First of all, I want to thank my connect The most important person with all due respect Thanks to all the hustlers And most importantly, you, the customer First of all, I want to thank my connect The most important person with all due respect Yeah Thanks to all the hustlers And most importantly, you I give thanks to the niggas that showed me the game Way back when I was young, asking them, throw me the cane Remember looking at niggas thinking we are no way the same I committed my crime and did my time with no one to blame Police came to the door, I flushed the O's down the drain I was running most of that cane, now how I'm supposed to explain To this nigga who name I ain't even supposed to be saying I'm staying in chains while my mind mostly be praying my drinking is getting carried away The way I push the rock, niggas compare me to Jay Rest in peace to all of the soldiers who was buried today These streets are scary and gray, that's why I carry a K Try to follow the straight path and fell bury it straight How ironic, quit chasing pussy and I'm married to straight Hey, first of all, this time I collect I gave these niggas game, I feel they owe me a check First of all, I want to thank my connect uh-huh. The most important person with all due respect Yeah Thanks to all the hustlers, the hustlers. most importantly you, the customer. First of all, I want to thank my connect, uh-huh. the most important person with all due respect. Yeah. Thanks to all the hustlers, the hustlers. The most importantly you, the customer. Muchos gracias el plaga. Hey, wey, don't the este la droga. I need perigo, Tarzan, and Mota. Pack just landed, need Dutchies, rent me a soda. I know addicts, dope boys, and kingpins. I know classic Bugatti boys and team swears. Porter kids that speak that urban lingo. The banditos in the desert walking kilos. Graduated from Air Jordans and Nike sweats. The Prada shoes, the suits and ties on the private jet. I still grind with a steel mind, my mindset. Take your clown and your queen and keep her vagina wet. I got hot 16s, you rappers need a buzz. I got bricks on deck, nigga, we the plug. Last but not least, I have to admit I'm a fiend. For Louis the 13th, good pussy and Cali weed. First of all, I want to thank my connect. The most important person with all due respect. Thanks to all the hustlers, and most importantly, you, the customer. First of all, I want to thank my connect. The most important person with all due respect. Thanks to all the hustlers, and most importantly, you, the customer.
And we are back. This is the I Am The DJ Show since 1974radio.com. I am now joined by the one, the only, the multi-talented. What is your official name? Grizzly. Y- y'all, Bow. you gotta, you gotta say it like that when you say it, man. Right, right. Man, brother, What's you've been up? working hard, man. Man, listen, I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I've been working. I've been working a lot. We've been doing a lot of, a lot of stuff. This will be uh, Christmas Day. Will be my fourth album this year. Damn. And uh, all, all homemade beats. Uh, I got a couple guys from out of town that gave me beats, but uh, most of the production is from guys right here in Lorraine. So I don't call them mixtapes because I don't make mixtapes. I make albums. Because they they original beats. All original, and original work. Original concepts. One hundred percent. Definitely. That, that whole that's just semantics anyway, man. It's, it's, and that's it's not a shot at nobody. That's the bar I put myself at. That's my standard. Like I always tell Mo, like I want Jack beats. <laughs> you know. You're not on that yet. Yeah. No. yeah, like uh, uh, 
niggas that go to YouTube and search Drake type beats or uh, yeah, I, don't, I can't type e- beats. you know what I can't even I can't even mess with half of the new beats now. They're just, I don't rap like that. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> still still got like a, a a more original hip hop type flow, not going more right. into the like the right. The EDM. I'm a, I'm a punchline oh, metaphor rapper. Right. Yeah, I'm bet, a, I'm, a, I'm a East Coast influence. Yes, yes, 100%. that's a that's a good way to put it. <laughs> that, that East Coast. I grew up with Wu. My my favorite rapper was Method Man. That was your biggest influence. Yeah, that that was the number one. When I when I'm even to this day when I do beats and and, and make my music, I get in the zone and get myself hyped up by listening to uh, Judgment Day. It's okay. my favorite album, T2000. Do you make beats too? No, you no, don't. No. So you don't make strictly. Beats. I, I got OCD and ADHD. I can't. I can't sit down and learn that program. Sit down and put that in there. Yeah. No, I, that's yes. what I got Mo Beats for. I already got. <laughs> I already got. You know the clothes around the mound. I don't need to <laughs> learn how to pitch. I'll just hit. That's what. Uh, that's what Swim was kind of just talking about, man. You know, we had the. We had a whole conversation about you know having a team together. Right. And um, you know everybody's got to play their position and come together to be sure, able to put together sure. the classics. So, uh, who else other than the Mo Beats has helped you put together? Your, your as far as this year. production, yeah, uh, yeah, production, and also some of the the other guys who've uh, you've been featured with, because okay. in the videos I've been checking you out with, I noticed that um, in the the bread and butter and in the uh, the Iron Giant, you had Erratic. Yeah, that, um, if you're not hip to Erratic and you're out here and you're you need to get hip to Eric, Eric's on another level. He's a lyricist, yeah, and, and he makes beats. He made bread and butter beats. That was the uh, that was like my first exposure to him and i was like okay that's kind of dope he's he's still he's still in the being he's he's got all the talent in the world but he for lack of a better term he's shy i think he's a little shy like he did you know what i mean he he wants to get out there but i don't think that he he's giving himself enough of a push yet but i tell him every day bro get out there you're hot you're a beast so he's stepping out into that to that role but that's that's cool so what do you so you feel pretty comfortable being out there in the front uh, uh, this is like a drug, man. It's like a drug. You know what? I, I don't just do this to, to get rich and fan. I've, I've been making music before I ever even knew how to make a mixtape. Right. You know, and like we were just talking about, you know, we were making beats on the PlayStation, PlayStation 1. Yeah. You know, I started this in 08 actually trying to be, you know, the mixtape and the rapper and the whole thing like that. But I've always loved hip hop from the day I came out of the womb. You know, I, I wasn't never the heavy metal white kid. I always right. listened to the hip hop and the. You know stuff like that so but yeah just the last couple of years i really started being serious with it and so what is you what's your like your game plan right now because i see you got the you got the grizz world order shirt yes you can get them uh 15 or if you pay 20 you can get them with uh talent mr grizz long way from water street i'll give you 16 machine tuggy three albums and a shirt for 20 bucks yeah you can't beat that that's a hell of a combo deal yeah yeah and, and not to mention, it cost me hundreds to make these albums. That's what people don't realize is that th- this stuff that we do, I big and salute everybody that really does it and is serious because it costs a lot of money to do this. It, it does. Even even on a even on a as we call it an amateur level where you ain't signing, you do it like me independently. I have to pay for everything. I pay for the covers, the CDs. And the music. and I'm gonna tell you what, man. I I, I get a lot of. Um... Uh, CDs handed to me and some cats we, we was just talking to like these still matter y'all like right. CDs is not dead you can't be lazy and just right. put your shit up on the internet and hope that it goes viral no you got to be in the street and and like Mo's the biggest one like uh, Mo goes hand in hand with all of his CDs Man, Definitely. Y'all, you put gotta... out, y'all put out so much music bro did I be confused did I just see a new mixtape over there yeah, I, 16 machine this you can get that live. You can get, <laughs> Wait a minute. You can get that Friday when you come to the Flamers Battle. When you pay your five to get in, you get the new album, 16 Machine. I got to pay five dollars to get in? I might be coming to do some reporting or something. Yeah, you know what? You, do what you do. <laughs> we go. <laughs> we, <laughs> right. 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 You know, we need the media back. But that new, oh, yeah, but that, 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 new them, man. Free uh, <laughs> that new That new album is your ticket. To get gotcha. into the event, exactly, so. exactly. I mean, that's yeah, five GP. But that's you know, dope. when you when we end up, we already got the CD though. Right. <laughs> so so when is, I mean, when is the actual release for the new sixteen? Uh, September twenty fifth. Okay. Which so you're doing that the, the same day as the uh, the Flamus battle. So let's let's get into that for a second, man, okay. because. 
that's uh you know i've been wanting to get you in to just talk about the whole movement but i definitely wanted to make sure that we got you in um to talk about the inspiration and the whole movement of what this battle is for and what what, what you're trying to accomplish what ideally what do you see friday night being like uh well, I want to get, you know, I, I see all the time, like, the, the whole thing started because, you know, we're, we're on Facebook and we plug our stuff and I got guys that come on there and they comment, oh, you should have did this and I know how to do it better and I'm a freestyler. So, you know, and I, I'm trying to take that in positive ways. So now basically it's I got a, I got a venue, I got my money up, I put together an event. And if, if you're all that that you say you are, it's put your money where your mouth is come or stay me. home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the win what it is is ten dollar entry fee. It's open to any entrant up until we're at capacity. Uh the pot is split fifty fifty down the middle, half goes to the house and half goes to the winner, the last man standing. So you ain't just going up there dicking off. You can leave out of there with some money. So what's the uh what's the format? Is this gonna be like uh the old school freestyle Friday where you got, you know, two thirty second rounds or what what's this gonna be like? I want I wanna do best of three rounds. If if we get a lot of guys, obviously we'll have to modify it for time constraints. Absolutely. Um and I wanna do beats or we could do King of the Dot style with no beat. And I want to leave it more up to the guys that are putting their money up. Because if you have money, you have a say, in my opinion. Yeah. So if I, you I put your money up, cool. we can take an honest. <laughs> but it's going to be murder. It's going to be murder. Right. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't sure. Well, we'll probably, we're going to end up probably using beats, but I, I'm, I'm saying we might do some, like maybe the two finalists might do an acapella. That was all beats in the background that y'all couldn't really hear. But that yeah, that's what, that's what I was like, man. He's like, oh, let him like, do his interview. I, I had to think, I'm like, man, you know, sometimes on Sway, when niggas is yelling in the background, you can hear, you can, him. You can hear him and shit. So, yeah, I'm like, I'm like they might be able to hear him. But right. if y'all ain't know, Mo, Mo Beats and, and Cheese is in the building. No uh, doubt, B and C. Representing, man. We definitely, uh, you know, y'all y'all names ha has been said on the program before. Um, so we know what, what's going on. We got to. We had we had some technical difficulties for the last time we had scheduled with uh, with Mr. Beats, but we are gonna get him back on because we need Mo. Um, definitely, definitely. Got to get Mo. That's our new thing around the house. We always we use Mo in a sentence all the time. I, we, Mo, Mo, you know that might that'd be a hot mixtape. Mo Most Space. Most <laughs> Every everybody always man. Let me tell you something, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my uh, my homeboys, the uh, Wrecking Crew. Red Panda Bears. Um, these cats are, they do hip hop and rock, kind of like a fusion. They went out right. and they uh, they had a show out in Lakewood a couple weeks ago. My homeboy uh, Mondo. Afterwards, he just kind of up there freestyling with the with the right. dude. They got a drummer that's doing like some electric beats, and he pulled me up. I wasn't, I, you know, I came out just to support them, and right. you know, he brought me up on stage, and I just kind of like started feeling my, you know, I was a couple. Couple brews in, I was like, you might, you don't want to hear me the mic. I might not get this motherfucker back. Right, man. You know, I'm gonna take it home with you. Know, me. you know, I might, right. might show you off. But um, right. I'm sitting here saying that, and then I'm, and then I'm saying I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, participate on Friday. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna come though, and I'm, a, I'm gonna enjoy seeing who the fuck shows up. Well, I could give you some rumors of some people that might show up. Okay, let's hear it. Well, Mr. Lord Grants came by my house and what? told me he has a he has a mystery battler what? who he won't even tell me who it is. Hey. I think I think honestly, I think <laughs> TKO is gonna show up. What? Yeah. Mo, Mo's cousin Doc Box might show up. Or Doc, uh, Donnell, Donnell, Donnell. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, hey, hey man, not to not to change subject too much, but you you said a name. Uh man, is y'all hip to the to the T Bond song? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, man. I, just I was the first that. I was the first <laughs> one. I was the first one to hear the T Bond song. See, me and Grants talk all the time. It's a good friend of mine. I, man, I got nothing I, but respect man, for I, that that dude is a is a genius. Yep. And uh do you know that that is, I, I love that video. That I love that song. Shout out to Tony Horn. Shout out. Uh, shout out to Ryan Horn. Shout out all the horns. Brittany. Fuck y'all. Hey, Blood I out. just want to say, it's good to see Mo here. 
It's good to see you here too, Grizzly. Thank you, thank you. You know the last time I saw y'all? Oh, here we go. Here it comes. <laughs> come. We was talking about jumping off bridges. Oh, uh, <laughs> here it comes. I ain't going to hear the end of this shit. I know it. <laughs> I just wanted to say that you know it's good to see that y'all like here. That's like some drunk hey, shit to me. <laughs> I was right, though, because Tristan held out. He ain't going to be a Cavalier. I told you. You did, you you did say that. No. You did say that. Look, you, you won't take 89, <laughs> but you'll take 94. Get the fuck out of here. That's yeah. crazy. You feel me? Yeah. Come on, man. What's six What's six million? Yeah, man. That's, that's, a, that's a bad career move for him. Well, see the thing. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Mo, man. We need Mo, Mo right. Y'all done, y'all done went okay. back to 89. All right, so uh, got Mark something Price on the else too? That's, sure. that's going on that I know about. Uh, shout out again to my homeboy, David Tower. Okay. Um, but I hear that you're getting into the professional wrestling game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've been a wrestling fan since I knew how to walk. I watched uh, Hogan slam Andre live when it happened. You wasn't three. there at the Silver Dome. No, I was watching it on paper. Oh, I was there he at the Silver Dome. Was. <laughs> you wasn't there. I hey, was look, the look, you wasn't there. there. <laughs> was. every, every nigga in Detroit right. said that. This, I was hey, this, there. Mo- this <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> gets the guns out when you say Detroit. <laughs> you ready to roll. Like, say something there. bad about Detroit. I wish you would. Detroit, I was at the Silver Dome. Flint, Saginaw, oh, right. every nigga. Hey, it, shout out to Sterling Heights. I love y'all. That's the equivalent to. That's when we was growing up around here, uh, around the early 90s. Every, every nigga knew somebody that was related to a nigga in bone. Hey, <laughs> look. I was, I was in L.A. I was at the NBA Finals game when Mac, when Jordan came down and did this. You guys want to hear a funny quick I bone was at the, story? I was at the forum. For real? You want to hear a quick bone story? <laughs> <laughs> Lay, okay. I was there. Lazy I was there on the family reunion. When that was part of the family reunion. Lazy we went to Bone's the father, game. his name is Arthur Dunlop <laughs> Sr. I, okay. did a, I did a stretch in the joint with his dad. With Lazy Bone's dad. I met Lazy Bone in the prison visiting room. <laughs> of all fucking man, we places. Come, we come full <laughs> circle, man. But yeah, Definitely. no, but he he I didn't believe him. He's like, man, you, you hit the bone, you from Cleveland, right? I'm like, well, I'm from Cleveland area, yeah, I'm hit the bone. Everybody is. He's like, Lazy Bone's my son. I'm like, man, you fucking lying to me, man. Shut up. And what? we played we played chess every morning. He was 67 years old. Oh. Okay. And I thought he was lying to me, but the man had a wicked chess game. He was the only guy on the block I could get to play with me every day. And he busted out the whole photo book. And it was lazy and uh crazy, or I guess they're cousins or something like that. And it should like I seen pictures of him when he was growing up. He was actually conceived in Mansfield Correctional on a conjugal visit. Damn. And that was his real dad, true story. True story. So, so had his dad like still been in his there? His dad's a lifer. His dad ain't never getting out. So he was in there from the time that he conceived him all the way until yes. Wow. He's, he's visited his father in the penitentiary wow. since he was born. Wow, man. True now, story. That's a, that's a document. That's a lifestyle that uh, I don't really. I, man, that's the first time of me really even hearing about that's something true, like that's that. That's a true man. story. That's deep. That's a true story. That is deep as fuck. But but <laughs> back to right, big right. wrestling fan. Yeah, I was I was a big wrestling fan my whole life, and uh, I got into an idea of it, back in ECW days. They had a thing where they broke into the scene with the grunge metal. Yeah, and they started using mainstream metal for their entrance music. And I'm thinking, I'm like, well. You know, me being an ECW fan and and knowing all that, I'm like, well, shit, if I could get a local wrestling establishment to mingle in with us and we could do a hip-hop wrestling show, you know, maybe that would be something we like. Now, the November 14th show that we're doing, there ain't going to be any hip-hop. This is going to be a straight wrestling show, but we're going to get something together in the future. But right now, me and me and David Tower are involved with that show. I'm I'm going to do the uh, the call and play by play on the matches. I'm going to be a commentator because oh, my okay. dream okay. job when I was okay. growing up, I wanted to be Joey Styles. I wanted to be the commentator, like Vince McMahon, Jr., yeah. Jerry the King. That's yeah, what definitely. I. That's my calling in life was. I wanted to be a wrestling. Yeah. I could call every wrestling yeah, hole you, you could possibly you're imagine. You're gonna be a, a awesome color guy, man. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a crack. That's uh. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing that. I will be uh DJing. At that event, awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm also gonna be there set up. Uh, and shout out teams. to David Tower, the world champ, the heavyweight Man, champion. He, he, he's in. I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen David Tower, look, I let, I, I'm going to be honest, and I told Dave this to his face. He knows the story. The first time he came to me, he was like, man, Grizzly, man, fuck with me on this wrestling shit, man. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, he was a bouncer at a club I was at one uh-huh. night. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. And then he, I started seeing him blasting the show the last one he did. And I said, you know what, man, I'm going to call him. I called him. I said, I'm going to bring the family out and bring my kids and stuff. You know, set me some tickets aside, and I'll be there. 
He gets there. You know, I got my tickets, and we sat down. And there was a little intermission or whatever. We were waiting for a minute, and they had EC3, the TNA world champion. Yeah. Who's a friend of David's. He had him come and do the show. Yeah, I was there. Right. So, but when I seen him get in, first he come in and cut his promo or whatever, and then he came back dressed as a 300-pound luchador and starts jumping off the uh, fucking top ropes. I'm like, oh, my God. But the show was great. It was a great show. I, I don't know if that's really him, though. I mean, I, I think it is, but that's my opinion. Yeah, I, I can't confirm. I can't confirm it looked, if it's it him, a but it like looked him. a lot like him. It looked him. a lot like him. <laughs> but, so you know, I thought Blue Blazer Owen Hart type of <laughs> right. shenanigans was going on. But that's that yeah. That's that hard work, man. Yeah, um, and he they definitely they put on a great show. Every guy there, not just David, every guy in that show. They had, you know, like the cop and the douchebag lawyer that I came out. I thought he was awesome, man. That was my favorite one. Me too. They Me roped too. the ring off and that was shut up. Up, little too. kid, yeah. he was picking that's up a little kid. Gimmick, man. Right, right. Like right, th- that's right. something that because that it's really entertainment. Is. At the end of the day, I mean, people. If you don't know wrestling ain't, ain't real, then come on, let's get with the program. Right. It's a show. It's entertainment. It, definitely. And they ass definitely to get hurt for real. Oh, they can get hurt. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah. they can. Yes, they can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That that shit goes goes down, man. I wanted to. Uh... And that's November fourteenth at the Cabrini Parish. On the south side, which is Homewood Drive. I don't have the address in front of me. Uh, that'll be November 14th, bell time, 6 o'clock, start time, 7 o'clock. Yeah, I will definitely uh, be doing some more talking about that. And definitely. also... I'll be there. I'm going to sneak in with Dez if I can't get a press pass. Oh, yeah. You know, that's this is since 1974. <laughs> uh radio doing the, the dj you know i'm 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 sponsored i'm i'm i am the dj but okay. you know i'm sponsored by since 1974 radio you Damn. know I, i'm a, i got it's a it's one of the different kind of contracts you know what i mean right. I, I don't need a tristan deal you know right I mean? we kind of <laughs> we we starting at the bottom you take and we, that mike mill money man it ain't even mike <laughs> mill money man i'm getting that, that girl, james I'm jones that, money i'm getting that uh that uh that Joe Harris two week contract. Oh, okay, okay, you, you gotta know. prove yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, knock that down when I pass it to you, boy. You know? There we got a spot to, for you. We trying to, we trying to work. You know, right, you right. gotta, you no gotta doubt. work your way up. No Tristan no Thompson. Doubt. Yeah, Tristan. But for real, I mean, we talking about that. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to give my true, honest opinion on it. I mean, it, it is a business at the end of the day. And we, we approach this from fans, you know, and I'm, as, as from a fan's perspective. Right, but right. if any one of us, if you remove all of that other bullshit and right. you come up to a nigga and you say, do you want 94 or do you want 86? I'll take seven. <laughs> but you know, it's the it's the whole principle behind the thing with Tristan Thompson. You just went out and you gave Kevin Love all this buku cash. Yeah, yeah. You gave Kyrie Irving all this buku cash, and I'm the only one that ain't been hurt. I'm well, the only one been yeah. here with you every yeah. game, on, every on, step on, of the way. On. First of all, you're from Detroit, so my I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> Second though, of all, he's if, a glorified if I'm on, six If I'm man. on the team, if I'm on the team, you're on the bench. Yeah, man. Oh, but oh, okay, where, bench where, where where was where was I when y'all was in the NBA Finals? Because y'all wasn't in the NBA Finals last uh, year. The Boston Celtics sabotaged our four slot, oh so yeah, you God. had to start. Oh, oh my man. God! I'm, I'm a, come on, man! Sabotage again, again, man! I'm never, I'm never gonna tell. A, a brother not to get his money. I'm not. I'm not sure. gonna tell him that. Man. Sure. Do do what you do what you feel so you got to do. But no you more? have to look at it this way: Would you rather no. make a hundred million playing for the Expos, or would you rather make ten million playing for the Yankees? Now that is where the LeBron factor comes in. Sure. Okay. Because just being around LeBron increases your earning potential. Being just around having, LeBron makes you a contender immediately. I mean, even but even out, outside of basketball. Sure. You know what I mean? Being sure. able to to take Instagram pictures with LeBron James whenever you want to. Right. There is value in There's that. There's value to in be able that. to be in the hot tub with no shirt on with LeBron James. Just what does yeah, that do like, for you? For you got to say for no real. homo after shit like you that. Know, I'm saying it, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. It Paul's wasn't like me. It was them. But, <laughs> but you know right, right, that right. that type of shit sure. is, is invaluable, man. As right. as Horace Grant, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like nobody would know who Horace Grant was if he didn't play with Jordan. Sure. Tony Kukoc, Luke Longley. Hey, when Horace Grant played for the Magic, I thought he retired. I'm like, damn, is it Horace Grant? <laughs> but, see, but see, you can't you can't go back to Horace Armstrong. Grant, y'all. We we living <laughs> right. in a different time. It's, it's a lot more money involved now sure. than it was back then. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So it is. I mean, but I, t- I told you man. I told you last time I came in here when the season was just starting, bro. I told you Tristan ain't gonna be here because Tristan's only gonna sit on the bench for so long. 
Right. He's, and his he, ego he, that's the number four and his pick. abilities yeah. are going to catch up, and eventually he's going to want out or he's going to want that money. That's, that's the number four pick. Well, I right. see I see that we're going to have to have uh, Grizzly and, and Mo join us for whatever the, the to-be-named basketball program. Oh, you seen program. that? Oh, yeah, no, no, we're we going we to we fit to go from go Friday nice. nights is going to be that. It's, it's, we're going to change the name to it. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. We, so we, we so talked about that last week. Every, I, didn't, I yeah. didn't catch that part. I listened to the second half. Yeah, we, we talked uh, about that last week. No, sports, sports, sports show. Talk. Yeah, we got we a sports football. show. We, we do, talking uh, football goal line right stand now. Friday nights. What is it? Ten to twelve. Ten to twelve. Okay. Ten to twelve. Friday, Friday nights. Nice. Goal line stand. Shit, call me up. Yeah, but uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna switch it up. I think I think I'm liking the name Second Half. You know what I'm saying? The Second Half good. Sports Show. Like you know what I'm saying? It might be something like that. So, Man, you know, before before Hit I forget, up. send us on the show at since 1974radio.com. Let us know what you think the sports show should be called. Show at since1974radio.com. Hit us up with those show title names for the sports show. Man, I wanted to do this at the very top of the show, mm-hmm. um, but we got kind of thrown off, which is cool because that's what we do here. We adapt <laughs> um, because, you know, you the, the strongest right survive. Uh, man, I wanted to give some congratulations out to the homeboy Chris Goody. Um, also, to be smooth. Uh, for representing no doubt, no doubt. Lorraine and bring it home. Good the, job, uh, yo. Ohio Hip Hop Awards. Uh, also, Seth Lynch yep. uh, got best videographer again, uh, again. You know, yeah. I think Chris Goody <laughs> went back to back again, and uh, and right. this is uh, this is B Smooth's first win, but I think they're gonna be back for it next year. But my niggas, I know, I know y'all want it, but y'all still need me. I'm trying. I'm trying to become the third member of Beast Move, y'all. I, I really feel like they need a third member because I feel like ain't really like in the history of R&B music. I feel like two niggas by themselves have never really been able to, you know, reach that next level. You need that at least a third. Right. You know, like a like. You a, need that guy to drive the groupies home in the morning. You know, you just just. To be in the- <laughs> Looking, you know, right, the, right. The, to hit the, to to hit the, the you know, just the, the nigga to be there. So, I need love, girl. Um, Darcel, John, man, hit, hit me up, man. We got we got to talk, man. <laughs> Shouts out to the Ohio Hip Hop Awards for ten years, no doubt, making it happen. Yeah, uh, they get their own. And, you know, we were nominated for four of those years, so you know. Well, we coming years. back for yeah. next mm. year. Next year, I want, I want uh, some nominations. I haven't been there. Uh, we, you know, I haven't been there. You know, and, and we got and nominated. But what's the one we got nominated Ohio for? Ohio Entertainment, Entertainment Award. Award. Yeah, yeah, that's Entertainment coming up in April. We also nominated for that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So I mean, we got some. We got some aspirations. Hopefully, this time next year, you know, we'll be talking about bringing home some. I'm gonna be honest. Next year, I plan to be living in California. Ooh. What? I don't even plan to be living here. Folks, I right told now. y'all the Grizz. The Grizz World Order is real, y'all. Hey, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, y'all, a, I'm gonna be your neighbor. I just won't be in California. I'm no, gonna y'all in, gonna I'm work for me. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna buy this building. I'm gonna buy this whole city. I'm gonna make no. all of y'all work together and work for me. It's I ain't gonna be, gonna be here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're I'm right. fine. I'm like, well. Hey, look, I know my way around the D. I can find you. I, I don't coming, care. I'm coming your way. You said you're you. going to Cali. I'm, <laughs> I'm going, going to Nevada. Hey, you already know. <laughs> Hey, you gotta you gotta be careful as a, as a white man in a room full of Negroes talking about we about to work for you. Look, I'm not white. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Chuck, what's he talking no, about? This is crazy. <laughs> Listen, I, I spend my nights in the booth getting cracked down by six black guys at the same time. Right. I'm not worried about y'all. Exactly. Y'all ain't tough enough. Gotcha. <laughs> y'all, hey, these mo- they, these motherfuckers are ruthless, bro. I've been getting. Oh, I get the I fat know, jokes, man. the hair jokes, the, all that. I get Definitely. it all. Definitely. So. I ain't you be prepared about. for it all. Look, that that look, he gonna start on air. Look. Man, I want to talk <laughs> for a second about uh, the Iron Giant video. Um, okay. If y'all have not seen it yet, uh, check it out. It's on YouTube. Uh, Iron Giant. YouTube by... slash Grizzly Rap, and you can find all it. All one can, word, Grizzly or you, Rap. Or you can search Iron Giant Grizzly. It all comes up. Um, but let's some talk nice, about it. some nice effects. In that video, yeah, I, ch- I tried to do. A, I'm a real artistic person. Like I like to really put pictures and words to make pictures. You know, so basically the gist of the video is it's a metaphor. You know, when I rhyme, my gears are turning. Right. And if you look at close enough, that's basically what it was. His gears is yeah. turning. <laughs> and Eric came up with the Iron Giant idea and, and the hook in that, and we just kind of went from there. And it's just. It's another hard kind of like cypher kind of hip hop yeah. track. You know? Yeah, kind of like bre- bread and butter was real. Bread and butter was very cypher. Yeah, <laughs> where Iron Giant's more of 
let's just go like with a concept just, and right. yeah right. definitely man but um i i like the fact that you know you was like okay i'm gonna make this look different you know what i mean i'm gonna give people right. something different to look at than the typical what right you know well I, I i pride myself on being different you know like Anybody that knows me or has heard any of my music or knows me personally know, like, I go against the grain on purpose. I don't like to be like everybody else. You know what I mean? And you, you see a lot of you see a lot of hip hop videos nowadays where you know it's always with the guns or the girls and the strip clubs and this and that. Where I wanted to give you something visual to go with the the bars. You know what I mean? And it was just. Let's do something different and Mach, shout out to Mach who made the beat and directed the video. If anybody's not hip to Mach, get hip to Mach at, at Mach Music. Um, he told me, you know, I got the screen, man. Let's let's get over here, let's do something. And I'm like, all right, you know, and then we painted the face of that because that that was all face paint. Right. Yeah. Like, that, even wanna... not just the, the, the skeletal parts, but, but the your face whole face itself yeah. was paint. Yeah, now, definitely. You know, we're sweating and shit, you know, but we got in front of the screen and it turned out good, but I my myself I'm not happy with it. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was just like the, the first ride with the training wheels. When we take the training wheels off, it's going to get even better. So. Yeah, yeah. it's always uh, nice to leave yourself some, some room for improvement and not feel like you can't get better, right. you know, because ain't right. no fun in that. Yeah. Well, I always tell myself, you know, everything that I do is better than the last thing I did. The day that it's not is the day I'll quit. <laughs> so I ain't failed myself yet. Bet. I don't plan on it either. What else you uh you got cooking up for us? Well, we got the battle this Friday on the 25th. Okay. Uh, I just shot a video for my next album, which is going to come out on Christmas Day. is called Local Celebrity. And I shot the first video for the first track on that called Forgive Me, which is going to be um, one of those real-life reflective slower type of songs. And we did a bunch of good shots over there on the Mile Long Pier. Okay. So look yeah, for that. That'll that'll here. come out sometime next week. Shorty is uh, directing and cutting that up for me for Shorty Films Killer Sound uh, Camp K and Me okay. for anybody that's hip to JS and them. Um, then I got me and Mo. We're gonna do Rise Up and the Rise Up remix videos. We're gonna go to the queue. Nice. So we're gonna we're gonna drop those. Y'all gonna week. wait until the season kick back up? No, right? we're gonna we're gonna flood. We're in the middle of a flood right now. Okay, bet. Mo Beats Video bet. Flood, the GWO Takeover. That's what Yeah, man, because you, you really are working hard, and you're coming from a, a bunch of different angles because you're coming at them with the Grizzly wear, coming at them with the with the wrestling, coming at them with the mixtapes. Grizzly with condoms the... coming soon. <laughs> and I got Grizzly raps. If y'all smoke, for y'all smokers, I, I ain't playing, bro. I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. Y'all can get that. I'm going to call them higher learning green leaf. And you can get them. What Those do you, what do you think about the... Are you are you gonna be out campaigning for the uh, the issue two, no, issue three? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, thank we, you. Somebody no. that finally agrees with me. Listen. This is a true cannabis me, head right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows it. It's no series. I, but somebody stole my chain. But you know, I'm a avid I'm an avid pot smoker. I, I I smoke pot whenever possible. You know, but I'm also a responsible parent. I know when to do it, when I'm not to. But I looked through the the paperwork and all of the uh, no. the rules and this and that. First of uh -huh. all, oh, you, no. you blatantly put the word monopoly in the amendment. Right. A monopoly goes against everything America stands for. Not so you're telling vote, me these yes. 10 companies can own all the pot growing and distribution in Ohio. Yep. And I can't buy any stock in it or get involved in it financially? No. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> Vote, keep your, no. Keep your fucking rule. I'll yeah. just leave it as a misdemeanor. Look, 2016. I don't have a license anyway. I have drivers, so fuck y'all. I don't want your stupid weed laws. They got the correct law on right. the books for 2016. Well, I was told. Be patient. I was told by people that I know that I, I listen to their opinion. Damn, my phone's going off. Hold on. Uh, I was told by them, and their opinion is we want yes on issue two. Or no, no. I, one The one that's the monopoly, we want to go no. But the other one we actually want to vote for because that stops that monopoly shit. The other because one, we want it like Cali and Colorado where it's just legal, man. Yeah. Don't put limits on it. If I want to grow a fucking field of pot, that's my business. You know, but when you tell me, oh, you have to buy it from these people only, you can only possess it, I don't want limitations because for all that, it's only misdemeanor, man. It's a ticket. I'll smoke weed anyway. 
You know, and people don't care. Most of the people in public, you smoke weed around, they don't give a shit anyway. You so, know what I mean? So vote no on that. I'm not voting for it, and I don't support anybody that votes for it. And that's, but that's my right as an American. But, and you know what? That that's an uh, that's an informed opinion. You know, you didn't just go off saying what you I got a college saying, education, no, brother. I, right. I went and read. Right. I read anything that I'm going to put my name on. I read anything that I'm going to vote for. I read anything that's going to affect my children, my well-being, my city, the people around me. And this this very much affects everyone because obviously everybody wants pot to be legal. Right. But I want it legal without stipulations. It's just, man, man. And it's, it's, it's coming because we got to make this happen. Um, I did a... Uh, my 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 first year in college, I had a, a a speech, oral oral whatever the fuck it was. It was a speech class, right? And I wanted to do my final speech on uh, the illegalization of marijuana, like how it became illegal in the first place. Right. And initially, the teacher, professor lady, she told me no because she thought, you know, she's like, oh, see me like, oh, black kid. She don't know nothing about me, young dude. You know what I'm saying? He's probably just about to right. make some speech about pro weed or something. And I was like, no, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm. I'm doing research into this. I've already done some. Right. I want to break it down. But basically, man, what I what I found out was it, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Man. It is. It's it really a bunch is. of lies. And just like anything else that goes on uh, today on a major scale, there's always some rich dudes behind it sure. that are leveraging things to be a certain way because it benefits them Absolutely. financially. Absolutely. You know. And I don't, I don't think that's right. I think that they should legalize it, and I think these companies that sell it, grow it, whatever, just like in California, you can buy penny stocks. Like, Be Real has his own strand of marijuana, mm -hmm. and he has his own companies. They manufacture it. Weed wasn't even illegal till what, 100 years ago? Yeah, I mean, shit, they, not even. Not even. You know, people have been smoking weed since the beginning of time. Yeah. But alcohol kills more people in one year than every other cause Ooh. of death put together. I and mean, you can buy it on any street corner. Al alcohol and McDonald's. And, McD and McDonald's. You're yeah. absolutely right. McDonald's yeah. will kill you. you know? But meat, period, is the most addictive drug in the United States of America. Meat. I, I, I don't Beef, know. I don't know. pork, I, I might... chicken. Well, I definitely... Get back. We're getting crazy feet. Your batteries yeah. might be dying. Yeah, I'm gonna switch them out. Gonna switch them out. Yo, yo, we got yo. we got eight minutes. <laughs> but yeah, look, so after the uh, the next thing that we got going on besides the videos, um, we have we're in the studio right now because our brother Cheese is home now. We're working on the next B and C album, and that's gonna be called the Untouchables. That's what's up. And you can look for that. I don't have a date for it yet. I mean, we're still in the process of recording it. But after that, we're going to do, uh, I got some shows lined up that I want to do before the end of the year. You're going to see a Mo show. You're going to see a, a Flamous Mo and Grizz show. You're going to see a Bar None show. I mean, lots of events. You know, the wrestling, we're going to keep doing the wrestling. Just man, I, I, think, I think that that has a whole lot of potential, man. Sure. Because... It was a well, you don't house. think the GWO shirts are just for music, do you? Oh, no. no what what are you going to do GWO when you see Grizzly get in the ring and take a bump? What you going to do when that happens? Because that's going to happen. You I'm heard a, it from me play, first. I'm going to play a theme music. Shut, uh, <laughs> shut, shut your social medias up. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Facebook slash uh, Grizzly Music if you want to check me out on Facebook. Or you can check me out on my regular page as John Grizzly. That's the one I communicate through. Right. You can catch me on Gri uh, Grizzly Vision on Twitter. You catch me Grizzly Rap on YouTube. You catch me Higher Learning ENT on SoundCloud. You catch Mo Beats at uh, Mo Beats on Reverb. You catch him on SoundCloud. Um, what else did I leave? Did I leave any of the pages out? I got so much. I got so much, yeah. man. You, you can Google me. Just Google me. Gr Grizzly, y'all. Uh. <laughs> That's Grizzly, Lorraine, Ohio. Google me and all that stuff will pop up. But the easiest way to find it is just come to my Facebook page because everything is linked to that. And, and uh, you working hard, man. You working hard right now. So I I'm just I, I wanted to make sure I brought you on um, again, y'all. The flamest battle this Friday. Mo, are you in the battle? That's my uh, that's my prize contender my, right there. My one conf confirmed. Mo, can I borrow some money when you uh, win? Right. <laughs> Mo, Mo, Mo beats well, we control. we have Mo. Mo's confirmed. Mo will be there. I'm on the fence because if the only re I'm not scared. I want to get into it, but if there's a lot of people, yeah, I might have to bow out because this was done on the fly. I've only had two weeks of promo, and it's every everybody done heard yeah. about it. So I mean, I don't know who could show up. We might show up to a ghost town. We might show up to a packed house. I don't know. So if we get too many people, I'm gonna have to bow out because I'm gonna have to run the, yeah. the whole event. But uh, Mo's gonna be in it for sure. 
our homie AB, uh, Aaron Bowens on Facebook. He's going to be there for sure. He's been, he been tearing down Facebook. He frothing at the mouth for this. Uh, we got my boy Two Tone Jones. He's going to be in it. And uh, we got, I got a couple other guys hey, that know, asked me not to I announce like some about names. This so. is, I, you know, like, like a cat like AB. Um, you know, he he ain't making no songs. No, he's a you battler. He don't. Like, he doesn't this is make. What he been waiting he's for. a battler. This is his arena. So yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm look. I'm looking forward to to seeing some of that, and uh, hopefully, you know, some ladies come out. And well, uh, we also have uh, the lineup before the battle. I'm actually giving y'all a mini show before the battle. Okay, so you're gonna have. Other I've got uh, Mo's gonna open. He's gonna give you a couple of bangers. I'm gonna do a couple of bangers. We got our homie B and C brother Shondon's gonna do a couple. Bamboo. If Chuck wants to get up there, uh, Erratic and his boy Still Ill, who you you might not be hip to. Okay. Mm-mm. Lyricists, and they're gonna come. They're gonna do a couple of tracks because my homie Shadow Row has to bow out. His mom's in the hospital, so my prayers are with you, Jim. Um, and then I've got DJ Dead Rod and DJ Glove. I'm gonna do two that, DJs. That. And hey, DJ out. Dead Rod's gonna come out with the evil clown mask on and everything. Like oh, we're shit. doing all kinds of crazy shit, man. Got Fuck some with surprises me, man. for y'all. Yeah, I got all kinds of surprises. Man, that is that's that's Friday night, y'all. <laughs> and we wanna and, and I wanna say this, I wanna say this if I can. I don't wanna take up a lot of time saying this, but I'm doing this for positivity, man. Like, you know, people that know me, I don't fuck around. I'll beat your ass in a bar, but I don't want to do that. Like, I want this to be a positive event. I don't want no guns, no weapons, no violence. I want guys to be able to bring their girl, watch the show, have a drink. I want these guys to network with each other. Because I'm tired of seeing I'm better than you. It's this, it's that. If we all stood together as a voice, we can be heard. But when you're a bunch of separate people, you're not going to make no noise no matter how good you are. You know, I, I think I'm the greatest rapper on the planet. Mo does too. But if we're fighting with each other and hating on each other every day, instead of combining forces, everybody's going to look at these two. They, they, they fight with each other. We don't want to listen to this bullshit. You know what I mean? The reason that people pay attention to me and Mo finally the way we do is because we ain't concerned with all that, man. We do this for the love of hip hop. We do this for the music, for the culture. So I'm trying to give Lorraine something for the culture. This ain't about OP, stop the violence. This is just about let's get together one night out of the week. Let's put the bullshit aside. Let's do this for the art, man. Let's do this for the love. I want to be future up there at the fucking tunnel, bro. I want to be B-Rabbit. You know what I mean? I want to see 90, 100 people in the crowd having a good time (laughs) voting for their favorite guy and leave the bullshit at home, man. And that, you know what I mean? Because you're going to see about seven guys with these shirts on, and we'll stomp your head in if you want to play games. Hey, shouts out to uh, whatever Ed. Who? And our director from uh, Atlantic Records who's tuned in right now. He just oh. followed us on oh, Instagram. Okay. Shout out. Salute to him, sir. A, a Salute. Appreciate y'all. You know, um, cause but that, that to finish it up, but, let you know, all jokes aside with the stomping and all that, but I want this to be a positive event, so... If people can get behind this and support this, I've already got the okay from Willie. I can do it. I can do this every week. Right. I can do it every other week. You right. know, obviously we won't keep it stale. We'll fit, we'll switch it up every now and then. But we can keep doing this, and it's something positive where people can showcase to their friends, to whoever. You know, and without a threat of oh, I'm gonna go here and get hurt. You know, too many people get hurt and die in the city already. And it ain't, a, it ain't about that. And and, and it's not about that. that. Mu- music is I mean? love. Music is the universal language of love, man. You know what I mean? People man. use it for negative, and I, I hate to see that. And I I try not to be negative myself. I clean myself up. You know, I try to change my image. I got kids to worry about. You know, so I want let's keep it positive, and everybody come out and check it out. Friday. And uh, and y'all know uh. This wasn't by design or anything. This is just God's will. But uh, we will be keeping it moving the next night right after on Absolutely. the 26th. Uh, we right back at Luna. Uh, I will be there doing the music representing since 1974. The fall kickoff. Com. Two nights uh, at Luna this weekend? Two nights in a row. Ooh, Damn, shit. Row. Damn, Lorraine. Y'all ready to turn up? So, Y'all ready to you turn know, up? Like, you know, I talked to, to Fresh about this and, uh, you know, some other people because 28th Street, man. Like you can say what you want about it, but that's that's the area that has not turned away from from hip hop, right? And um, right. you know our our crowd. So we got to do our part to make sure Absolutely. that motherfuckers don't ruin this shit. It's bars like it's bars right. like Luna's and these couple other places that are the only ones left that let us do what we do. Yeah, man. And they're getting shut down because every night. 
somebody's catching a bullet, they're getting hurt or, or whatever the case. And, and I think stop. I think you've seen this weekend. You know, um, we had shootings this wow. weekend in Lorraine, Amherst. Yeah. Avon. They they found two dead in Avon. That yeah. was crazy. Even yeah. Avon got yeah. guns Everybody, now. Everybody like it's, 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 <laughs> that's crazy. It's it's not a it's not a hip hop thing. It's not a Lorraine thing. It's not a black thing. It's a it's life not a white thing. thing. It's a let's live life thing. It's a and it's, it's an America thing. People man. people don't people don't value life anymore because there's right. so much social you. media and technology. Like I get on all my friends everywhere I go. All I see is people doing this. You know, and it's sad because people don't know how to take a woman on a date. They wanted to skip to the sex. They don't want to have any of the interaction Man. of what makes us a human being. Man, I think some you know? people, like, I think, like, we've kind of glorified death, man. Like, to where, you know, right. motherfuckers die and they get all this attention, you know, from they You're nobody they till get. somebody kills you. And it's like, and I think motherfuckers, like, these young dudes out here, like, that's... Like they see that is like this is what's gonna happen. You know what we call know? that? You know what we call that where I come from? Lost in life. They're lost in life, man. Yeah. Man. Hashtag. <laughs> lost, yeah. lost. I'm gonna life. tell you what. Oh, being a gangster ain't cool. That shit ain't nothing to be glorified. I got three numbers. I've been in the penitentiary a lot. I've been in a lot of trouble in my life, and there ain't shit glorious about that. Cause I'll tell you what. When you go there, all them dudes that was running with you, oh let's do this and do that. They're gonna leave you for dead. You ain't gonna get no mail, no money, no food, no nothing. And you gonna come home bitter and angry like I did. And I changed my life and I stopped looking out for people like that. That's not the life to live, man. And I don't glorify it in my music. I report, I'm a news reporter. I don't glorify shit. I just tell you what it really is. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't sugarcoat it. You know, and it, that's not nothing to glorify. We got kids, We it's time to grow up. You know, we our, our children, we're ruining the world for our children. I'm scared for my sons. I'm scared because of the way that, you know, it's acceptable for all these different things that people think are okay. And all of a sudden it's okay, but my whole life it wasn't okay. I don't right. understand that. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different world. Shit's changing. Some shit stays the same. But uh, regardless, we're going we gonna to keep pushing, man. I'm going to keep it positive. Keep I it appreciate moving. you coming through, man. No doubt. No um, doubt. Y'all be on the lookout. Make sure you check out Grizzly Rap on YouTube, Facebook, Grizzly. Yeah. Albums Twitter, are in the streets Grizzly all over Vision. Lorraine. If you need an album, holler at me, holler at Mo, holler at CD Dre, holler yeah. at Cheese. Uh, shout out to uh, Mo Beats and Cheese for coming through. Bar none, click in the building. Uh, let me let me check my notes, make sure I hit all my hit all my plugs. Sure. <laughs> no doubt. Oh yeah, and uh, our brother Cheese, who's finally home, he got his album done. We're waiting on that to come out. Nine lives, and that's coming real, 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 real soon. Like wow. in the next few weeks at the most. And, we're going to uh, get him out there, too. Before I get out of here, man, I wanted to make sure I gave a shout-out to my homeboy, Ron, uh, from the D, who came down. Uh, so check him out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter at Ron I'm So Ill. Uh, he got that new single out, Fiend For It. A uh, real cool brother came through uh, with his entourage um, and made it happen. Did an interview on the OG show this weekend. Yep, if you Shout missed out. it, it's on YouTube. Shout out to uh, Desi and Lele. One, one more time, y'all, for the time being, you got to catch us on YouTube uh, since 1974 radio. Search that. You can search I Am The, the DJ T-H-A. Uh, the website will be back up soon. Fuck Charlie. you fucking hackers. <laughs> <laughs> you little we sending, fucking we hackers. We sending the Grizzly World Order after you. Grrr. Fuckers are coming. Ty House, you got anything before we get out of here? I just want to thank uh, Grizzly and, and Mo Beats for not jumping off no bridges. <laughs> <laughs> hey, also, go Cavs. Uh, go Cavs. Shout out to right. uh, uh, Swin and Screech the Narrow for coming through earlier. Swinning. Uh, oh yeah, man, I, I do got, I do got something. I, I want to uh, spend a uh, send a special uh, rest in heaven to my uh, cousin and my cousin's baby mama who was murdered over on 140th Street over the weekend in Cleveland. Mm. Uh, rest in heaven. And to uh, bro who evidently uh, committed it. That's family too. So I mean, wow, oh, that's a tough fucked situation. up. But it is what it is. Wow. Blessings all right, to all them y'all. folks. Uh, come check us out again next week. And uh, remember, we got that Wilkin Santiago interview coming up for y'all sometime Uh-oh. this week. So stay tuned. Uh-oh. Doing big things. Big things. Artists, send your fucking music to show at since1974radio.com. Send your music to show at since1974radio.com. Grind. I am the DJ. This was my show. Ty House producing. 
since 1974radio.com. We're out. The best Midwest independent hip hop and R&B.